Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. The new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, is a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Tell them that the Denarians sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. Today is November 13, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we all cross the finish line together. Looks like things are actually beginning to happen in Iraq, finally. First article of interest. Parliamentary finances favor the arrival of the budget. At the end of the current month. 1037, 13th November 2019 Baghdad. The Finance Committee in the House of Representatives, on Wednesday, the non-arrival of the federal budget for fiscal year 2020 from the presidency of the Council of Ministers to the House of Representatives so far, likely to arrive at the end of this month. The federal budget for 2020 is still in the custody of the government and we have not reached it until the moment, committee member Hainan al Qadu told Alma Aluma. He added, the budget will arrive at the end of this month to make adjustments, transfers and discussions on some articles and paragraphs, as well as to meet the ministers of planning and finance to put the finishing touches to the budget. The presidency of the House of Representatives announced earlier, to address the Secretariat of the Council of Ministers on speeding up the dispatch of the draft budget law. Next article of interest. Sources talk about the formation of the first Iraqi government without parties. Baghdad, November 13. Reuters. Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi is about to announce a cabinet reshuffle for his entire cabinet, sources said on Wednesday, and all new faces do not belong to any party. The obelisk could not verify the information from its official sources. According to the information, the new cabinet includes many young graduates and three women. Abdul Mahdi plans to submit the names to parliament in three stages, the last of which will end in early December. According to analyzers, Abdul Mahdi is trying to exploit popular pressure to get rid of quotas and put parties in parliament in direct confrontation with the people where the expected ministerial change will remove positions from parties and distribute it on the basis of sectarian or national or party, which began to arouse the pressure of some parliamentary blocs the ministerial seat was considered a magnet for generating huge interests and funding for its parties. In the same context, described a member of the House of Representatives, the coalition of Sarin Peace Shamari, the government's move to announce a reshuffle of several ministries is delayed ruling out their impact on reducing the momentum of the demonstrations. Next article of interest. Russia cuts U.S. dollar stake in wealth fund. 2019 to 13 November 1745. Russia will reduce the U.S. dollar's share of the national wealth fund and consider investing in other foreign currencies, including the Chinese yuan, Deputy Finance Minister Vladimir Kolotshev said on Wednesday. Kolotchev confirmed a Reuters report this month that Russia planned to diversify its holdings of foreign currency in 2020. One of the aims of the move was to protect Russian reserves from external risks, but he did not say the exact size of the U.S. dollar share to be cut in the National Wealth Fund. The U.S. currency accounts for about 36% of the National Wealth Fund, equivalent to $124.5 billion at the end of October according to Reuters calculations. Geopolitical risks are one of the main factors that determine the structure of the National Wealth Fund, Kolotchev told reporters on the sidelines of a conference in Moscow. Russia stepped up efforts to reduce its dependence on the U.S. currency after Moscow's deteriorating relations with the West, following Moscow's annexation of Crimea in 2014, and its role in the Ukrainian crisis. I can say that the U.S. dollar share will be smaller. We are studying different currencies, including the yuan, Kolotchev said. Next article of interest. Barzani party leader, Kurds, Sunnis and a wide spectrum of Shiites do not accept the presidential system. 0953, 14th November 2019. The leader of the Kurdistan Democratic Party Majid Changkali, Thursday, 
that the Kurds, Sunnis and a broad spectrum of Shiites do not accept to change the parliamentary system to a presidential, noting that there is no confidence in the presidential system. Shank Ali said in a statement reported by the newspaper Ashark al Asat and Sahim Information that there are no concerns about the amendment of the Constitution, change it, and in the forefront of it change the form of the system from parliamentary to presidential, because that would make one party controls everything. He added, the issue of regime change is not only rejected by the Kurds but Sunnis reject it as well, as well as a wide spectrum of Shiites do not accept. There is no confidence in the presidential system. And whether the Kurds refuse to amend the article on the approval of two-thirds of the population of three provinces on any article in the constitution at the referendum, Shankali, that the disabled third is the only guarantee in the Iraqi constitution, and therefore cannot be accepted amendment saying that, the question we should ask there are dozens of constitutional articles still without laws regulating them, so talking about constitutional amendments in an atmosphere fraught with anger is nothing more than an attempt to absorb the anger of the street while the constitutions need a calm atmosphere. When editing. Next article of interest. Chunky monetary mass is capable of addressing economic problems. Wednesday, November 13th. 2019 Baghdad Hussein Thag emphasis on the imperative of working towards the transfer of cash accumulated at home to the local labor market through the banking system to contribute effectively in solving the economic problems and provide jobs that accommodate all young people and qualified technical expertise and others it is estimated the volume of liquidity in Iraq by 47 trillion Iraqi diners hoarding in homes about 70 percent of this amount according to the indicators of specialized centers and financial experts. Haydar Qasim al-Baghdadi stressed the importance of localization of salaries, highlighting its importance in providing liquidity to the financial sector, promising the first step to move the monetary hoarding in the houses towards the banking system, pointing to the need to make cash function as a positive duplication through advanced products through electronic payment and that salaries are paid through and kept in banks and the citizen depends on the electronic card, especially as the citizen interacted a lot in this joint, and here we can employ the operational budget in activating the capital cycle to serve the national economy, and that banks must all attention to this aspect in all joints of electronic payment. Restore confidence. He said that the hoarding of the chunky block to the banks requires serious work leading to the restoration of trust between citizens in all banks, which require the first phase of the law guaranteeing funds, in addition to creating trust between state institutions and the private banking sector, which is an important step to strengthen the role of the private sector in the management of economic joints and enable it to play its true role in development. Database he pointed to the importance of localization of salaries from now with private banks to be the beginning of electronic work and the establishment of a database moving to private banks to deal with the largest proportion of citizens, because of the slide big. He stressed the need for the central bank to start issuing new instructions, supported by the role of a supervisory evaluation by him and determine the ceilings of balances and accounts for open circles with banks which helps the government institution to start working with private banks. Legal guarantees. He had demanded to focus on the laws, most importantly the law of guaranteeing deposits and loans and other things that contribute greatly to bring hoarding cash to the banking sector smoothly, and demanded to work to use laws in this direction to create an effective banking sector enhanced confidence between citizens and banks, and this needs to be there are legal guarantees noting that the deposit guarantee law is the cornerstone in this subject and its application is the real beginning to move liquidity in the right direction and transfer to the banking sector, which will be employed in the service of the national economy. He pointed out that Iraq is receiving the attention of the international specialized effort, which requires us to work towards the benefit of regional and international experiences that tend to create bilateral partnerships with the international effort leading to increased knowledge of national expertise and enable them to advance technology. Qualitative implementation. He explained that reality needs to review all the laws that regulate the labor market in the country 
and make it help in the smooth implementation of the quality of projects, away from the intersections and interpretive problems that accompanied the last stage, which caused confusion, and made the competent employee at a loss when there is an intersection of legislation, and here the legal environment must guarantee the rights of all parties without exception. More articles of interest to come. Hit that like and the subscribe button and check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Be sure to tell them that the Denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. I encourage you, knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Denarian.